Sometimes we take actors too personal when they portray villainous characters as thugs or gangsters. We end up thinking they're real life totsies or thugs because of how good they are on our screens. The fun part is, there is an actual connection. Some actors were real life thugs before or during their acting career. So here we're going to discuss 10 actors who were arrested in real life for actual crimes. But before we get into details, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future similar content. Number 1. Ronin Yakale, aka Cosmo from Generations The Legacy. Ronin Yakale, a 50 year old South African actor popularly known for starring in the South African drama series as a gangster and played Cosmo in Generations The Legacy, was once arrested. Nyakale has a criminal background, which Mzanzi was made aware of after it was reported that he was detained alongside Mama Jiggy in a child trafficking case. As a well known actor, most people thought he is a criminal only on TV, but on the other hand, he was only released on 2000 bail after arrest. It's worth noting that, on the day of his trial, his docket was miraculously misplaced, leaving the court with no choice but to dismiss the case. Number 2. McDonald Ndo, known as KK from Mobango. Mobango actor McDonald Ndo, who plays the role of KK Mulawuzi, was arrested with two of his accomplices during a hawks operation at Southgate Mall, south of Johannesburg, where they allegedly attempted to escort 100,000 rands from a housing businessman. The three were facing seven charges of impersonating police officials, extortion, theft, kidnapping and corruption, defeating the ends of justice. Though remains a person of interest according to sources. Number 3. Skumbu Zombata, aka Minier Manaka in Skimsam. Skimsam actor Skumbu Zombata was arrested after he was involved in a crime racket. The actor was named after he offered a criminal on the run transport. His car was used as a gateway car and he happened to be the driver, but it was later revealed that he did not know about the crime beforehand since he thought the woman was desperate for transport in the previous hours. The actor stars as Minya Manaka on the SABC One drama series Skimsan. Number 4. Zintlema Bena, known as Zintle on Isibai. Former Isibai actress Zintlema Bena, who played the on screen character of Sitle, has been arrested more than twice. The bubbly character has made all sorts of headlines in recent years. In the backdrop of her arrest in 2017, she was named for a similar crime a few years later. In 2017, she was arrested and detained for questioning after being involved in a horrific accident that left two dead and one paralyzed. The actress got away with the crime since no legal action was taken. Last year, she hogged the headlines after she was nabbed for an attempted murder. However, the attempted murder turned south. Instead, it left her husband's bodyguard dead. Number 5. Presley Chuenye Hai, known as Cobra from the Creed. He is undoubtedly a bad boy, just as his character on award-winning film Tootsie. The River actor Presley Chuenye Hai has been arrested for gender-based violence, fraud and forgery. Last year, he was nabbed and detained at the Pretoria North Police Station for allegedly assaulting his wife. However, that arrest came in the backdrop of another arrest. The actor was arrested and forced to pay a fine after driving using an Ivorian license. Number 6. Israel Matzeke Zulu, aka Don from Gomorrah. He is known for playing the best type characters in South African drama serials and films such as Dodi, In Number Number, Gangsters Paradise, Jerusalem, and others. It's not a surprise seeing him excelling in portraying Toti characters on TV since he was once a thug in real life. Mako is an ex-convict at the age of 14 in 1987. The actor was arrested for several counts including theft and burglary. However, he was sentenced to 8 years in prison in the mix of things. After that, he was incarcerated 3 years for a carjacking and housebreaking at Johannesburg prison from 1996 to 1999. After his prison departure, he became the best at playing thug or villain roles in most of his characters if not all. Number 7. Kanyam Kangisa from The Queen. Muvangwa in The Queen Actress and Selima Tunzi TV presenter, Kanyam Kangisa was arrested twice. She was first arrested for drinking and driving and also for a hit and run. The actress was allegedly involved in a high speed chase with police officers after a hit and run incident and was arrested and taken into custody. A police officer informed the media she was arrested, detained and released. Her television debut dates back in the 2000s when she was just a teenager. At the age of 14, she got her big break on television and became Yo! TV presenter on SABC One. After being on Yo! TV, she moved on to an educational science show called Knock Knock. In 2004, she made an appearance on the series 
Tunzi.com and thereafter moved on to star in the lab one as Rufilwe and then on to Ugoguno Andile. Number 8. SK Koza as Shaka Koza from The Queen. Stembiso SK Koza is a South African actor and TV host born to his own father who was the national president of the independent municipal and allied trade union at some point. SK Koza has made all sorts of headlines in the past years. The Queen fired him after he was arrested for assaulting his fiancée. However, this was his second arrest in 2021. Earlier that year, he made all sorts of headlines when he hosted a super spreader party amid COVID-19 violating the lockdown regulations. Number 9. Kelly Kumalo, the Aosuzuri actress. A South African singer, songwriter, actress and dancer, Kelly Nonsansa Kumalo, was once arrested for the murder of her boyfriend Senzo Miyiwa. She was implicated in Senzo's murder in a document that was released last year by the South African Director of Public Prosecutions. The document which was handed to court states that Kelly and others orchestrated the murder of Bafana Bafana Captain Senzo Miyiwa, but it was dismissed as it was viewed as an internal opinion which held no merit. Kelly is known as a songstress, but she also acted in the ETV soap opera House of Zuri in September 2021, making her an actress. Number 10. Maggie Benedict, known as our Conan Generations. Former Generations actress Maggie Benedict was arrested after allegedly stealing a 17.9 rand packet of Panado tablets at Chagas in Jobek's Cresta in December 2013. The actress is known for appearing in films including Attack on the 4 2009, Step to a Start Up 2014, and Queen of Katwe in 2016. She received the South African Film and Television Awards for Best Ensemble Cast Award for performances in the 2011 film The Maiden Game. If you like this video, please subscribe to YouTube channel, hit the like button and notification bell. Thank you for watching.